You rang for me, sir? About ten minutes ago. What on earth took you so long? I was... Never mind the excuses. Just give me one of those sleeping pills the doctor gave you. Yes, sir. Will you be wanting it with your usual lemon and elderberry tea? That's fine. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll return shortly. Finally. I thought he'd never get to sleep. Well, he's asleep. <laughs> We're going inside now. Wait, <laughs> let's tiptoe, guys. Stay very still. Are there any other objects here besides the card? <laughs> steal his slippers. Do something else. <laughs> Pull off his hat. He may be a crotchety old geezer, but I can't help but feel sorry for him. Waking him up would be a very bad idea. That card is my ticket into the Ministry of Medicine. Right. All right. So now I'm stealing an old man's only means of getting more vaccine. I really hope there's something in the ministry worth finding, Danton. I think he is influence enough. I bet he can get more than one dose of vaccine, guys. So I don't think. Uh, no. What? Uh, oh, no, oh! Please. Of all the times. Yeah. What? Uh, who's there? Shit! Ophelia? Is that you? Ophelia! Well, they... they told me you were dead! Oh, my dear Ophelia! Come back to take care of me when I'm sick! I knew you would! Ophelia? Ophelia? Are you there, my love? Ah... <sighs> Is that the name of my mother? Ophelia? That was a little too close. Oh, he... That was sleep again, guys. Ophelia! Uh, maybe we are related. Maybe that's my grandfather then. Hold on, everybody, hold on. Ophelia. Is that my mother's name? Oh! What the heck? Someone on the second floor? Okay, can we go back? There was someone on the second floor summoning the birds. <laughs> that looked a bit magical too. <laughs> Did you guys see the pixie dust? What the heck? Eh? Alright, uh, I'm curious. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your... There's a family picture here. Is my mother's name Ophelia? Uh, okay, maybe not this one. Hold on. This one. This was taken shortly after they were married. What's her name? He looks so happy. What is her name? What? <laughs> the picture does not tell me her name. Is her name Ophelia? Oh. I don't know. Beware the red you think that was a ghost? <laughs> they mean the I'll be ow, I'll be take Cooney. away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. All right, we're heading back to the Ministry of Medicine. I'm going to show him the card, guys. This card says that Silas Harrison is entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. Is Silas... <laughs> uh, a woman's name? <laughs> also a woman's name? I don't think so. The appointment card is for Silas Harrison, and I'm obviously not him. Can I pretend to be him? Dress up as a guy? Can I can I fake <laughs> my name on the card? I'm not sure how I can use those things together. Hmm. I have the card here, but we can't even get in, guys. Silas. 
Excuse me. What is it, citizen? Keep up the good work. Have a nice day, miss. Okay, we don't have a way to go inside yet. Let's see what we can do. I don't think we have uh, men's clothing over at our house. <laughs> Get a top hat and fake moustache to pass off as an old man. <laughs> Do we have those materials? I don't think so, right? Okay, hold on. Let me check one more the time. The Reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his... Yeah, I don't have anything that we can uh, use here. Also, ends. Yeah, no, no, no. Shall we get some if help you from can't our friends? Be singing, but you see their eyes glow red. The Reaper will be coming. Market District. Uh, we have our friends over at the factory and also at the market. Let's go talk to our friend Danby that nice. And then we talk to uh, maybe Gus? I don't know. Can I borrow your clothing, Danby? <laughs> we'll swap clothing. Hey, Danby? Yeah? I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. You don't have anything that we can use here, Danby. Don't get into any trouble, Dunby. Maybe we just go back to our Danton and ask for help? Maybe. If not Gus. No more time for idle chat now, Amy. Get to Fripp Square and find Silas Harrison. I found him! I found him already! But I just need to get inside the Ministry now. Uh, are you not going to help? Can you not help? Can we change our name? Uh, maybe change our, na our name on the card. This woman here is drawing on the map. Okay, let me try using the card then. I don't see how I can use that there. Hmm. Change the name on the card. You guys cannot help me, huh? Can we borrow some clothes from the old man's room? Um, so go. Cool. I don't think we can go back. That icon is gone now. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself. How do I disguise myself as an old man? Gus? Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. Oh, I can ask that question too. Have you got any meat I could feed ravens with? Ravens? Why would you want to feed those little pests? I feel bad for them. Everyone deserves to eat. Well, they're plenty fat from eating the dead sheep at the farm. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to help feed those little monsters. See you later, Gus. You bet. Oh, Danby. Danby's an artist, Gus. 
Okay, you know what we have not done? We have not given him the card yet. Danby is an artist. He do graffiti and he he paint. He draw. Can he change our name on the card? Danby, look at the card here. Yeah, look at the painting's eyes. He he has talent. Maybe he can forge our name on the card. Oh. Denby, you mentioned before oh. you were good at copying handwriting. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could copy this doctor's right. writing? Right. I Shouldn't forgot. Be a problem. What do you need me to do? Change the name on this card to mine. Oh, yeah. Easy. Just give me two minutes. He did tell us about this. The handwriting stuff. There you go. Hey, nice job. Thanks. Thank you, Denby. So he has our name on it, huh? Perfect. This card says that I'm entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. <laughs> nice. Don't get into any trouble, Denby. I just forged a government document for you, Amy. I think that's kind of impossible now. All right. Once we get the vaccine, uh, we'll try to not use a vaccine. <laughs> we'll just try to bring it back to the old man, everybody. Since if we don't have the disease, it will be a waste. So if we can, we will not use a vaccine. We'll just take it, take it out of uh, the ministry. <laughs> That's our plan. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? I am here to see Dr. Collins. Is that so? I assume you have an appointment? Yes, I I've got my card right here. So you do? All right, I'll open the door for you. You'll be checked in and directed to his office. Enjoy your day, and I hope you'll feel better. Thanks. Good night, Renata. See you next Here time. Here goes nothing. All right, our plan, guys. Remember, <laughs> we we will not take the vaccine. Oh, we will not uh, use it. Hello, Miss. May I help you? I've got an appointment with Doctor Collins. I see. Is there a problem? Ah, uh, well, how can I put this kindly? You don't exactly look like our normal type of visitor. What does that mean? It's just the way you're dressed. It's not typical of the people we normally see here. How exactly did you get your appointment, if I may ask? Oh, uh... Why do you care? Check me up. I do have the disease, guys. Right? I am coughing. <laughs> Give the password. Tell the truth and lie. Whoa, what should we do? Give the password. Make up a password? That... <laughs> I don't think that is uh, going to help at all. Shall we just... Um, I don't know, what should we do? These are very different choices, guys. Um, make up a password? I don't think so. Tell the... Uh, we'll just lie. Oh, uh, of course, <laughs> uh, these clothes. Uh, see, I, I was volunteering at a food distribution center and I love blending in with the lower class. <laughs> Is that right? Right. You don't believe me, do you? No. I wish I could say I did, but the type of people we see here wouldn't even consider doing something like that. So what now? Are you going to call the guards to come arrest me? Hey, I may be a government employee, but I'm not a monster. I've so... got the perfect life. Oh, what? What? Again? What? Is Danton stupid? Oh! Didn't she at least tell you to get a disguise? Oh my god! Well, she did, actually, but I found a better way. You do realize how much you stand out, right? If you try and see the doctor looking like that, they'll call security and have you escorted out. Then they'll start asking me questions about why I let you in, and things will only escalate from there. So, any ideas on how I can get a disguise? I'll have to think about it. Just don't go any further into the ministry until we figure something out. Wow, he's part of the group, guys. <laughs> he's an undercover agent. Alright, so now we need a disguise. 
Uh um. What are those supposed to be? <laughs> those? Uh I don't know. Those are like pearls. On uh some black ligerich. I shouldn't touch it. Looks expensive. And sticky and gummy. <laughs> Is that what the wig heads look like without their masks? If so, I can see why they never take them off. <laughs> no way. I do not want that thing anywhere near me. It's kind of hypnotic. This looks like some kind of directory. It might be useful in getting around this place. Is there a changing room? Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination. Request directions. Request directions. Uh, I'd like some directions, please. Please state the name of the room you would like directions to. Uh, well, storage. That would be a good place to look for these guys. Central storage. One moment, please. Error. Password required. Oh. I'm sorry. You do not have proper clearance to access that information. Do you require further directions? Dr. Collins' office. One moment, please. Follow the west wing hallway, three doors down, then make two rights, followed by a sharp left. It is the fourth door on the left. Do you require further directions? Uh, not right now. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go ask the guy about the storage place, guys. Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. So we need a password, huh? Okay, let's talk to the receptionist. Hey. What can I help you with? Is the central storage room accessible from here? Sorry, I don't know. They keep the location secret. Ooh. I'm not at a high enough rank to have that information. Not even you know about that place. And the passcode. What's that panel used for? It's a directory. Navigating the ministry can be a bit daunting, so it's designed to ease the process. People still manage to get lost, though. I don't know why they made this place so confusing. So have you thought of a place to get a disguise yet? Honestly? The only place I can think of would be the staff locker room. Hmm. It's just down the hall. Hopefully you won't run into anybody on the way there. Just look it up on the directory so you know where to go. And be extremely careful. If my cover gets blown because of you... I'll be discreet, I promise. Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Well, direction. Uh, I'd like some directions, please. Please state the name of the room you would like directions to. Staff locker room. The staff locker room? One moment, please. Walk down the hall two meters, then make a left. Do you require further directions? Two meters left. Nothing else, thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. Two meters on the hall and make a left. I think I'd get hopelessly lost if I just wandered around the ministry. There has to be some means of finding my way. But we just asked for the directions here. Down the hall. You mean this hall? This this way? I'm huh? not leaving yet. I still need to find the central storage room. Two meters on the hall, guys, and then make a left. Can we not go there right now? Oh, Welcome do I just click? Please select a destination or request directions. I'm supposed to click on this. Oh, we don't have to uh, remember the directions. Oh, so much easier. <laughs> the locker room. Looks like one of the doctors left their coat hanging here. Is that a good looking coat? <laughs> that looks a bit shabby from here. The Ministry seems like a pretty tight ship. I don't think I'll be able to disguise myself in this doctor's coat without raising any suspicions. But let's just see if there's anything in the pocket. Nope, nothing. Oh well, it was worth a try. Yeah, the staff members for sure have their regular clothing inside the lockers, right? Because they have to change into um, the coat, 
the doctor's coat and the nurse's uniform, things like that. So the regular clothing are inside the lockers. Nice bag. I'm guessing it belongs to whomever owns the coat. Let's see what we've got in here. Hmm, nothing much except a pair of shoes. They look like they might fit. Shoes? Ooh, fancy shoes. <laughs> well, it's a start. A good start? Attention employees. Please remember to lock your valuables in the provided lockers. The Ministry is not responsible for lost or stolen property. Someone left a pair of shoes just thrown on the ground here. These are a pair of men's shoes. They're too big for me. I think that goes into the showers. Okay. Uh, do we have body odors here? Are, are we stinky right now? <laughs> Maybe we should take a shower first before we change you into uh, that other clothing. The regular clothing. I haven't got a complete outfit yet. We need to take a shower, guys. Make ourselves neat and tidy. And then put on the clothes. Then we will uh, meet the doctor for the appointment. <laughs> That's our plan. That's our goal. <laughs> Locker 1, 2. Ooh, they are numbered. The lockers are numbered. Nice to see they keep this place clean. I've already got a bucket, and I'm not in the mood to start cleaning anything <laughs> That up. looks like a better bucket than ours. <laughs> that, is shine that is a shiny bucket. Can we swap? <laughs> Get that one inside. Nice to see they keep this place clean. I'm not about to start mopping floors. Alright, locker one. Check them all out. Locked, of course. Locked, of course. Are they all locked? Locked, of course. Locked, of course. Oh, there's one open one. Locked, of course. Number seven. Locked, of course. This one is empty, but I can see the lock mechanism and it's surprisingly simple. It shouldn't be too tough to jimmy one of these open. I just need something thin to get in the door frame. Do we have that object? Something thin, like a card? Or the Oh the card will do maybe is one of those uh those uh, credit card things. <laughs> Some tough card, a plastic card. Locked, of course. Okay, let's try the card. Sounds like a good tool to use. This should do the trick. Ooh. Nothing worth taking in here. Empty. Uh, apart from some old chewing gum wrappers. Aha! This set of clothes looks promising. What kind uh, of clothing here? Yeah. Is it a complete set? I think this will be a good enough disguise. I just need to find a decent place to put it on. Take a shower first. <laughs> Take a shower. Get rid of the body odor. Right. I'd better make this quick. Oh, I took a shower. Oh, that was <laughs> nice. I can't remember the last time I took a hot shower. Wow. <laughs> we actually had time to take a hot shower. Wow. Now we are ready to go. Just uh, dump my old clothing, guys. Because I got new ones out. We don't need our old clothing back. <laughs> Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Shall we go back and show off our new outfit? <laughs> Look at me now! Look at me! Hey. Hey, now that's more like it. You blend right in. What can I help you with? Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Alright, now we can go. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Delta Collins! Oh, the waiting room. We have to uh, get in line. Get in line! This looks like something someone would have in their home, not at a doctor's office. No need to push furniture around. Fancy fountain, guys. Soothing. Although, to be honest, now I kind of have to go to the bathroom. Did you not go to the bathroom during your shower? <laughs> Oops. I'm not sticking my hand in there.
Empty seat. Do we need to cut in line? The window is closed, but I imagine the doctor's receptionist is back there somewhere. Yes, may I help you? I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Do you have your appointment card? Uh, yes, it's right here. Great. Hmm, Amy Wellard. I don't seem to have you in the registry. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay, not a problem. Just fill out this form for me, have a seat, and we'll call you in shortly. Thanks. But this is urgent, we don't have time to wait. <laughs> we only had time to take a hot shower. And we use up all the free time already. <laughs> we need to get in line, guys. We we need to get in next. We can cut in line. Ignore those people. Poor people waiting. Brochures. The aristocracy guiding tomorrow's youth. The aristocracy. Just a wall rack with a bunch of Ministry of Medicine brochures. This seems like it might be interesting reading material. already took a brochure. Brochure. For over 25 years, the Ministry of Medicine has been providing nothing but the best in healthcare and for the citizens. With the support given by the population and the generous donation of time and resources, the Ministry has been able to make progress in great amounts. With continued support, it may be possible to reach pre-bomb conditions well within the next 5 to 10 years. We at the Ministry encourage you to consider Donating whatever you can spare in order to further our research. In exchange, you will be provided with exclusive treatment options and resources. Unlike anything available to the lesser classes, contact the Ministry today to make your donations. She looks bored. Who knows how long she's been waiting here. Do you have an appointment? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood to talk right now. I'm sure you understand. No, I do not. What about you, young man? He doesn't exactly look thrilled to be here, but then I can't really blame him. Did you also catch the green lung disease? Like me? Hi there, <laughs> I'm Amy. What? Oh, hello, I'm Robert. Was there something in particular you wanted? Not really, I was just saying hello. I see. Well, not to be rude, but I've got a lot on my mind. I'm not really in the mood for small talk. Okay then, forget I said anything. Well, they are not in the mood. Alright. Maybe better voice. We just sit down here <laughs> and take a nap. I'm just worried they're going to give him the maximum punishment. I don't know what to tell you. The aristocracy doesn't take kindly to that sort of thing. Have you been able to speak with him? No. They took him in for questioning yesterday. Not even family can see him until they decide what they're going to do. I guess the worst case scenario is he ends up in Rockwall for a few years. I can't believe he could be so selfish as to not even consider what this will do to his family. What am I supposed to tell my grandchildren? No, your daddy won't be home for Christmas because he was selling counterfeit lottery tickets to poor people. Ooh. At least they'll know not to do what he did. We need those extra tickets. Miss Wellard, you can go inside. Dr. Collins will be in to see you momentarily. Oh, and if you need to schedule a follow-up appointment, don't forget to speak to me afterwards. <laughs> am I am I getting ahead of those two fine folks here, guys? <laughs> They've been waiting in line for ages, and I and I got a uh, preferential treatment. <laughs> we got in first before those two, but uh, I'm not complaining though, guys, I, because I I feel left out. When I was outside. <laughs> the only one who talked to each other and not me. So they got what they deserved. <laughs> I got in here first. There's a lot of interesting looking stuff on this table. Interesting stuff. Ooh. That's the fanciest paper towel dispenser I've ever seen. There aren't any messes to wipe up that I can see. It says, I love you, Dr. C. And it's signed, I.S. I.S. 
No, I think that's private. She's pretty. I wonder who she is. The doctor would definitely miss this. This jar looks like it's full of candy. Well, maybe just one won't hurt. Just one? Did we get one? No, we did not. Let's get one. Well, maybe just two won't hurt. <laughs> maybe three. I'll just have one more. Three. That's enough candy for now. And now I'm going to have a, 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 an upset stomach. <laughs> Oh, right, so this form here, what is this about here? This medical form. A blank medical form and a pen. When do I we... don't know what half the stuff they're asking on here even means. Oh, because we are a first time visitor, guys. So the nurse actually gave us a form? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, cool. This jar is full of little flat wooden sticks. I don't even want to know what they're used for. I have an idea. I don't <laughs> think one of these would do me any good. I've seen one of these before, I think. Doctors use them to listen to people's hearts. I think the doctor would miss this if I took it. Anything I can actually grab? I guess you can't be too careful when dealing with sick patients. A brush? No, I think the dirt under my fingernails adds a certain charm to my appearance. Oh, for washing up, guys. Huh. There's two forms of soap. I guess this profession would make anyone a germaphobe. Yeah. There's lots of scribbles and notes on here. Hmm. There's one that says, This week's CS password equals next week's mm. surgery. That's probably important. I'll just copy it down. The storage? The secret storage room, guys. That's a, that's a password. We, we got that down, right? The doctor will notice if I take this. I need another way of keeping this information. Write this down? Oh, right! Copy it down on the phone. I already copied the note. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. I wrote down what it said on the doctor's notepad. This week's CS password equals next week's surgery. Next week's surgery. Uh, perhaps a date or the patient's name? Okay, cool, guys. Oh, oh! Good afternoon, Miss Wellard. Hello, Dr. Collins. I've been informed that this is your first visit, is that right? Yes, that's right. You look somewhat familiar. Are you sure you haven't been here before? Yes, I'm sure. You must just have one of those faces. In any case, what are you here for today? I have green lung. The symptoms started about a week ago. I see. If you'll just have a seat on the examination table, I'll do a quick checkup and administer your vaccine dose. Oh... There you are. You should notice a decrease in symptoms within the hour. Thank you, Doctor. Wow. So I oh, actually... Miss Wellard? Yes? I swore an oath to do no harm and heal the sick, so I would never turn away someone seeking vaccine. But I'd like to offer you a suggestion. When sneaking around other people's houses, don't stand so close to the windows. Oh! I'm sure you're aware of the consequences if you were ever caught. Understood. Oh my god! <laughs> he saw me, guys. He's <laughs> so that was, that was the same doctor. He saw me through the windows. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think I should check in with the receptionist first. Hmm. Well, that was good news, guys. So that means... Uh, he will probably do something... Uh, about the old man. So now he knows that he will not have his treatment. He won't have the card. So hopefully he will just uh, send out another card to Silas <laughs> give him another appointment yeah that is good guys welcome to the Ministry of Medicine please select a destination or request directions uh reception please we don't know about the patient yet maybe he will know I'm sure he will know about the appointments and stuff 
Hey. What can I help you with? Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Uh, okay, hold on. Show him the card. I don't think he'd be interested in that. What? We're supposed to find out about the patient. Are we not? Next week's pray patient, guys. Hmm. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Oh, maybe I need to talk to the nurse. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Can we book an appointment and tell her about next week? Yes, may I help you? Yes. <laughs> perfect life. I just want you to know, I've got the perfect life. Well, obviously you don't if you're seeing a doctor, but I'm glad you feel that way. Optimism. <laughs> we need to be optimistic. I was told to schedule a follow-up appointment. Of course. Let me just show you our calendar, and you can pick a date that works best for you. Ah, nice. So no secrets. No secrets here, huh? We can just look at other patients' names, everybody. So today's date is Wednesday. Next week is the 16th. Let's check that out. There's already something scheduled on that day. What's the name? Next week's appointment. Check out the name. I don't see how I can use that there. Hold on. L let me look at the note again. I wrote down what it said on the doctor's notepad. This week's CS password equals next week's surgery. Surgery. Surgery date. It says vaccination, Karen Schmidt. It's not a surgery, though. It says vaccination, Anthony Prescott. It says surgery, Paul Ooh, Scott. surgery. Medulla oblongata. That's the one, guys. It says surgery, Paul Scott. Medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata? Is that the password? Can we hold it out? Copy it. I don't see how I can use that there. Uh, medulla oblongata? It says surgery, Paul, Paul Scott. Scott. Medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata, Paul Scott. Medulla oblongata. <laughs> Do I need to copy that down? The Paul Scott, medulla oblongata. Okay, I think I can remember this. <laughs> Next week surgery, you guys. It says vaccine. All right, all right. It says Paul Scott, medulla oblongata. <laughs> Can we go back? How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? <laughs> uh, oh, I need to pick a date. Hold on. 15. How about this date? <laughs> right. Perfect. I'll pencil you in. All set. See you soon, Miss Wellard. Alright, thank you. For writing it down. Ow. Ow Bikuni. <laughs> Paul Scott Medulla Oblongata. Alright. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Uh, okay, hold on. Request direction. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Uh, I'd like some directions, please. Please say the name of the room you would like directions to. Ah, oh, just say that out loud. Uh, medulla oblongata? Password accepted. One moment, please. Nice. Central storage is located to the left of the administrative cafeteria. It is the unmarked door next to the cleaning closet. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. So heading to the storage area. Ooh, top secret guys. This is top secret. Terminal. That is one huge metal door. There has to be something fairly important on the other side. But what? One way to find out. <laughs> I don't think opening this door is going to be quite that simple. Oh, there's an item there, guys. I'm what guessing is that? this is what they use to transport the crates around. There's something Looks on like it. Looks like someone left a box cutter on it. Ooh. Don't mind me. 
Well, if someone was careless enough to leave this box cutter here, we'll just go with the old finder's keeper's rule. This must be where the crates wind up going. I wonder what's on the other side of the wall. I don't think this chute will open manually. So this terminal is connected to the alarm system. Look at that. Alarm bell. Smoke detector. Hmm. I remember seeing a diagram of one of those in a book Nelson had. When the alarm is triggered, the little clapper hits the bell and makes a noise. There's not much I can do to it with my bare hands. Smoke detector. Interesting. I guess they put this in here as a part of the emergency detection system. Well now, that's certainly tempting. Please select your function, open storage door, system maintenance, emergency override. Oh, Pasco, guys, we don't have one. Maintenance, also a code. Emergency override. Okay, we have to start the, uh, I mean, activate the smoke detector. So, smoke, everybody. <laughs> smoke. Anything we can use? Box cutter, pistol, pistol, gunpowder. I can I can burn the brochure. Can we not burn the paper? I don't have a uh, a lighter though. I have nothing to spark a fire. Gunpowder. I don't think that would work. We don't have matches, guys. No lighter, no matches at all. I don't think that will do anything useful. Where can we find matches? I, I don't think we have seen any around at all. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination. Request directions. So... A lighter reception area. Hold on. Let me ask our friend here. Do you have a lighter? Hey. What can I help you with? Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Yeah, locker room. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination and request directions. Yeah, I have the same idea. Ow. So, uh, back to the locker room. We have not checked out all the lockers. You are right. You are right. So, one, two, and three. And also the last one. You are correct. Where is my card? I don't have my card anymore. Oh, I don't have a card anymore. I, I I lost the card. Oh no. Locked, of course. I don't have the card anymore. The the plastic credit card thing. It's gone. It's not a brochure. That's not going to help me get the locker open. Oh, we lost the card, everybody. Anything else we can use? Shoes. Let's look at the bag again. Nothing else I need in there. Mom. This one is empty, but I can see the lock mechanism. It shouldn't be too tough to generate. Right, right, right. Hmm. 
interesting. Oh, was this here before? Did, did we actually miss this? Bottle. The label on this bottle says it's Achilles brand floor cleaner. This one here, the tin, looks like it's a is a burner. This is a burner, guys. The label on this tin says it's Astro brand powder no, disinfecting not. cleanser. Is it is this is alcohol? The label on this bottle says it's Achilles brand floor cleaner. Oh, looks soft Ooh. and clean. I grab all the items. So still no signs of a lighter here, though. No lighter, guys. Nothing else I need in there. Can I combine any of these items? Floor cleaner. Achilles brand floor cleaner. Achilles has no weaknesses when it comes to fighting dirt. Warning. Flammable. Flammable. Do not store at temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius. Flammable. 30 degrees Celsius. Otherwise, it will uh, burst in fire. <laughs> above 30 degrees Celsius. That, whoa, 30 degrees, huh? so you can't even put it out in a hot day. <laughs> 30 degrees Celsius, <laughs> that is very low. <laughs> Astro brand disinfectant bleach powder. Simply pour on stains, scrub, and watch them vanish. Warning, do not use on silver, painted surfaces, walls, aluminum, or rubber. Oh, that's start a fire also? <laughs> Silver, aluminum. <laughs> what items can I. What about the bucket here? Yeah? My cast iron bucket. It's been cast incredibly iron. useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. Alright, let's see what we can use here, guys. No way. Firebombing the ministry is not the approach I had in mind. I'll need to be a little more subtle. Alright, I think we need to get back to. That uh storage area. <laughs> Hold on. Before we Welcome try anything. To the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Central storage. Won't combining random chemicals cause smoke at least? Yeah, I think so. I I think so. So We don't need to decide actual fire, you're right. It is uh, a smoke detector, so maybe put things in the bucket. We got a bucket here. I'd rather not put that in the bucket. Astro brand did Right, right, right. Okay, let's oh. get some of this cleaner in the bucket. Cleaner in the bucket? What about the rag? Do we need the rag? The rag will burn, but it might get out of control. I'll need something smaller. Something smaller? Um I don't think that will do anything. Something what do you mean by something smaller? It's nice and soft and surprisingly clean. Uh combine this with the powder. I'm not sure how I can use those things together. No way. Alright, alright, alright. I'm not sure. A standard box cutter. The blade is Alright, alright, alright. So, the bucket right now has the floor cleaner. My cast iron bucket, it's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. I've poured some cleaning fluid in it. Right. Can I put a bucket down somewhere? This looks like a good spot. On the floor? I don't see how I... So what do we add to the kit? Add chalk? I don't see <laughs> I think we need metal. Aluminum. Something aluminum. I wrote down what it said on the doctor's notepad. This week's CS password equals next week's surgery. Only has a chemical, guys. The pistol. So we can start a fire with the pistol, can we not? The cleaner will catch on fire, but there won't be any smoke. I need something else. 
we need smoke papers. Not the lorry ticket though. The form, the, the brochure. Something tells me this brochure will be more useful in here. Ah. Just these items? Okay, this should work. Oh, oh. crap. What was I thinking? What? That was a close one. I need to find a way to stop the alarm and the building alert. Uh, we can cut the wires. <laughs> cut the wires with the boss cutter. Oh. <laughs> well, now if the alarm goes off, the alert will at least be limited to this room. So would that be good enough? Okay, let's try again. If I set off the smoke detector now, the alarm will go off. I can cut off the alarm. I can't reach this wire, but I don't think I should cut this one. If I cut this wire, I don't know if the terminal will affect anything in the room. Oh. Uh, emergency override. We we cut the wire, did we not? This wire runs from the smoke detector to the alarm. Can I put something in between the bell and that uh, bell clapper? Put the rag there, guys. I don't know. Oh, cover there. that clapper. That should muffle the alarm if it goes off. Okay, uh, are we ready now? Here goes nothing. That did it. I'll put out the fire before it gets out of control. Did that work? Override? Oh, it's done. Yeah, vax. Oh Look God. at the vaccines. There's enough vaccines stored in here to treat the entire population for years. Danton was right. The government has been lying to everyone all along. This isn't right at all. The people need to know the truth. Uh, let's at least take some pictures here. <laughs> we need some evidence, or photographic evidence, guys. Unbelievable. This could treat the entire population. Oh, oh, the alarm. Oh, oh my god. Amy Wellard, by order of the aristocracy, you are under arrest for trespassing on private property, breaking and entering, theft, and tampering with official Ministry of Medicine documentation. I'm sure there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Our orders are quite clear. You are hereby ordered to come with us for detention in Rockwall Prison. Don't I at least get some kind of trial first? We're here to escort you to Rockwall, not to answer questions. If you do not cooperate, we have authorization to shoot you on the spot. You are also ordered to return those stolen clothes to their proper location before leaving the Ministry. <sighs> Fine. Let's go. Alright, who was it? The receptionist? I bet you, is that receptionist? Wellard, we've got a visitor. Oh, the man himself! Good evening. Tiberius, you can't let them keep me here. I'm very sorry, my dear, but things are a bit complicated. I came to explain your position. Go on then, I'm listening. Do you remember the day we were bombed, Miss Wellard? I can recall it quite well. I was young, but yes, I was in school. I lost a lot of friends that day. My mother, too. My condolences. You are aware that the reason we were attacked was for control of petroleum and mineral supplies, yes? Yes. Sure, but what has that got to do with anything? Rebuilding our society has not been an easy task. We still have much to do. Of utmost importance is maintaining order. Do you understand this? Then why are you telling people supplies of vaccine are limited? You could help everyone and work on finding a permanent cure. Yes, <laughs> you are correct. And if we were to cure the population and allow our society to thrive once more, what do you suppose would happen next? 
Well... Things will be great! <laughs> I'm too naive. It would be great. People could live normal lives again, not have to worry about scavenging or dying of the plague. Oh, of course. And when a rival nation caught wind of that prosperity and decided we had something they wanted? Um... We would be attacked. Experience the horror of war all over again. I would not wish the bombings we experienced on my worst enemy. I cannot let that happen again. I will not let it happen again. Do you understand me, Miss Wellard? I'm aware that the current system is not perfect. There is a clear class divide, but we are not tyrants. The aristocracy has always striven to care for the citizens who provide aid, despite their circumstances. In any case, I am genuinely sorry that things had to turn out this way. You did perform your job quite well, perhaps too well. I was just doing as you asked. I asked you to infiltrate the rebels and gain their trust. I did warn you that my protection could only go so far. You could easily have come back to me and informed me of Danton's plans to invade the Ministry. She threatened to have me killed if I set foot anywhere near your tower. What was I supposed to do? Informed one of my guards, sent along someone you trusted with the information. Though it hardly matters now, I've gotten all the information I need. But how? With this. What? A gold ball on a string? A clever listening device my soothsayer came up with. It oh was my placed God. in the handle of your crossbow. What I've the? been tracking you in order to ensure I learned the location of Danton's hideout. You've been oh. spying on me this whole time? Why didn't you just tell me you were listening in? It was a test of loyalty, and unfortunately, you failed. It's truly a pity. I would have loved to give you your payment. You could have continued spying, opened up a mechanic shop, serving the government. Alas, I cannot reward criminal behavior. It would not be looked upon favorably by the public. We would lose the support of citizens like Mr. Harrison. So what, you're just leaving me in here to rot? I'm afraid not. Order must be preserved. I find myself forced to tie up loose ends. Danton and her rebels will be eliminated. As for you, it really does pain me to have to do this. But the truth is, I have no choice in the matter. You must be executed. Executed? What? Why? I understand this is difficult for you. However, my hands are tied. I simply cannot take the risk of keeping you alive. And what if I promise not to tell anyone about the vaccine horde? I'm afraid you've proven to me already that I can't trust you. In any case, I wish to thank you for your service. I'll make sure your execution is quick and painless. Goodbye, Miss Wellard. Again, I am quite sorry. If you're man enough, you do it yourself. <laughs> you execute me right now. Mm? Oh, the red eye, Raven eyes. Rolling your eyes at that logic, right? <laughs> that would be goody, right? <laughs> the reason why he is keeping people away from the uh, vaccines. The reason why he is letting everybody die here is because he is trying to prevent war, guys. <laughs> he doesn't want other nations to attack us. <laughs> if we are well, if we are good and well, if we are thriving. <laughs> it is so illogical, right? <laughs> anyway, a raven with red eyes, you know what that means. <laughs> What is that? Is that a corpse? It looks like a uh, an animal corpse there. Anyway, we are stuck here in the prison now. And this is the end of the stream. We've been streaming for over two hours now. Time to save my game. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you all for dropping by. And nice meeting you, too. I'll be Cooney. Hope you had a good time. <laughs>